Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I'm back with another DVD review. This time around I'm reviewing a film that I recorded the other night. It's called Jersey Girl. Honestly, it's a chick flick, but it's probably the second chick flick that I would openly admit to watching and enjoy. It's got Ben Affleck in it, J-Lo. It's got Rufus from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Uh, Liv Tyler, she's in it. Yeah, it's, it's a good story. Uh, no other real stars apart from them. Uh, but the story goes something like Ben Affleck, J-Lo fall in love. They uh, get married. Then soon after they have a kid. It's not really a spoiler but at the start of the film J-Lo dies. And she dies in childbirth. Which is a shame, you know, it's not good. It's not really heard of more nowadays. Years ago it used to be. Um, but yeah, J-Lo dies. Ben Affleck has to raise Gertie as he calls her, in name of his ex-wife, dead wife, J-Lo. Uh, he names her after her, really, and uh, yeah, he becomes a single dad, and he realises how hard it is to raise a daughter in New York, so in the end, he loses his job, and he has to move in with his dad. And that's where the story picks up, really. He, he uh, is the big shot in the small town. Gets a bit of a love interest from Liv Tyler. Now, in all honesty, I really enjoy the film. It's a bit of a tearjerker. Uh, if you're a bit of a tin man and you've got no heart, then it's uh, dead inside. Then you're not going to find a connection or you're going to find that it's not very a sad film. But I find it a bit of a sad film because his wife dies and... She's the the young girl, she's got no mother. He's got to bring her up all by himself. I mean, his dad's around to help, but it's his daughter, so Ben Affleck's got to do all the work, really. It's a bit of a sad film, a bit of a tearjerker, I think. Uh, no real twists and turns, it's a bit of a sad film. Straight down the middle, it's... Uh, I I really enjoy it. I mean, other people like uh, IMDB, they haven't rated it. Uh, they gave it a 6.1 out of 10. Uh, Rotten Tomato, they give it a 41%. So, I mean, it hasn't got the greatest reviews. It didn't do great at the box office. Uh, J-Lo's not the greatest actress in the world, really. Um, but she's only in it a small amount of time. It's not a huge blockbuster, but I find it enjoyable. If you like Ben Affleck, J-Lo's in it a bit. Bit of a sad love story. But it's a uh, film about a big shot. Loses his wife, has to raise the daughter, and he moves in with his dad. Yeah, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride, really. J Lo's in it for a small time, all the loss of childbirth. It's a bit of a tearjerker. Uh, personally, I enjoy it. It's not the biggest grossing film at the box office. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, if, if you like a whole storyline of a father and his daughter bonding, and then he finds a new love, then. It's uh, probably the film for you. If you're a big Ben Affleck fan, definitely get it. Uh, bit of a chick flick. Honestly, I don't mind admitting that I watch it and I enjoy watching it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a film that's got the biggest uh, gross, but it is entertaining. I Every time it's on telly, I watch it. I enjoy watching it. Bit of a sad story, but it's enjoyable. Any Ben Affleck fan, get it. Chick flick sort of films with uh, father, daughter bonding really theme sort of film and you'll enjoy it but yeah jersey girl i enjoy it hope you enjoy it too quick review about it so thanks for watching